Here's an example of numbers again. And here we have the author, Ramsford Arnold, The Life of Langston Hughes, Second Edition, Volume 2, Oxford University Press, 2002. So we have the edition and we have the volume number because there could be more volumes, three, four, five vo volumes inside that series of books. Wellick René is the author, last name first, first name last, The History of Modern Criticism, 1750 to 1950. That's the title of the book. It is volume five, Yale University Press, 1986. So you can have the volume without a number. You can have the volume. It depends on the publisher, but here, this is exactly what we're saying. This helps you to find that specific book. What about volumes and issue numbers? So here we have an example of Baron Naomi S. That's her middle name. And this is the book's name. And here, or I'm sorry, this is the journal article name. How did I know that? Because it has the quotation marks. Quotation marks means it's part of something bigger. The journal name is PMLA. So that's the journal. The volume number is 128 and the number, the issue number is one. So this information is included in the journal and we just go ahead and use that information as specifically as possible. Kafka Ben, the demon of writing paperwork, public safety in the reign of terror. So this is a chapter in a book maybe. And here's the book's name, representations. And this book has a number, 98. If this is not a book, then this would be a journal. Since it's a number, I'm guessing now is a journal. So this is part of something bigger. The bigger is the journal representations. And that is 2000 and page 1 to 124 for that article. When we look at publishing companies, of course, we've already seen that Oxford University Press is an example. They come at the end. Here's another example. Penguin Press. So after you finish explaining who was the author, what was the name, and what's the name of the larger container, then you have a period and the publisher.